Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. So today's video is a really exciting one because today I'm going to be talking about the reasons that I use Mac OS, why I choose to use Apple products, mostly Mac, um, and maybe down the road I'll make videos why I choose to use iPad and iPhone and stuff like that. But in today's video, I'm going to be covering some of the main reasons why I choose to use a Mac. Now, I did make a video about this like over a year ago, but it wasn't really that in-depth. And that's what I'm going to do in this video is cover this more in-depth and more or less explain more of the reasons why I choose to use Mac over Windows or even Linux, which I did use for a while. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. <music> Okay, so my first reason is the Apple ecosystem. Yes, pretty much anybody who talks about why they choose Apple products is because of the ecosystem, but the truth is it really is the ecosystem. The ecosystem is truly what makes Apple Apple. Um, the fact that they are making phones, tablets, computers, and now smart assistants with HomePod, it basically gives Apple a monopoly on people that buy one Apple product, they'll want to buy the other one, just like that. And that's what I had the same experience with. I've been using Mac since I was really little because my parents have always used Mac um, and Apple devices. So I got used to it at a young age. And then I've used my Mac for a long time. We had a family iPad, um, which we actually still have. It was the Apple iPad 2. Um, we don't really use it as much anymore. Um, but honestly, I really liked Apple products at a young age. And from that time, I wanted an iPhone. So the time I actually finally got my first phone, it was not an iPhone. It was an Android phone. And at that point in time, I was the only person in my family that had an Android phone. Um, but eventually my grandma upgraded her phone and I ended up getting her iPhone 6S and that became my first Apple product, um, Apple phone that I got to use. Now, once I had that, I was basically irreversible from going back. At that point, I was able to like receive messages from my phone and they pop up on my computer. It was amazing. I was able to do FaceTime calls, phone calls. I was able to receive mail from my computer and my phone and AirDrop was amazing. And honestly, that is what just stuck with me. From that point on, I've upgraded, I've been through four Apple iPhones. I don't really have a thought of changing. Yes, there have been some bugs in iOS 15 that I haven't liked, but nothing catastrophically wrong that has made me want to switch away yet. But honestly, the Apple ecosystem is really what keeps me in. Just how the Mac works with all the other Apple devices and makes it great and makes it all work together. Okay, so my second reason is Apple's pro suite of apps. Now, even their free apps that come with your device, like Pages, Keynote, Numbers, uh, iMovie, and GarageBand, they're all great. My first few videos on this channel were all edited in, in iMovie before I switched over to DaVinci Resolve. And just a few months ago, I got Final Cut Pro, and I absolutely love it. Honestly, Apple makes some amazing apps that come straight with your Mac, and then you can pay like $20 extra to get their Pro apps which are also absolutely amazing. If you get a modern day Windows PC, most of the things that come with it are like bloatware that comes with your computer. If you buy it from like a, like a reseller like Dell or HP and stuff like that, you're just gonna get all these apps that most of the time you're never gonna use. Yeah, it does come with Windows Movie Maker, but truly, who really uses Windows Movie Maker? It really makes no sense. I mean, yeah, you get MS Paint, but Pages is much better for doing not only word processing, but design. I use it to make my app mockups and a bunch of other stuff that I like doing. And honestly, Apple devices just come with everything you need right out of the box, which has been their advertising slogan for many years. Back when they had their first iMacs, those Get a Max uh, advertisements was always advertising how great iLife was. And the truth is iLife is amazing. Yeah, it's not called iLife anymore or iWork anymore. It just comes with your computer, but it is absolutely amazing and it is a game changer. Um, and honestly, that is another reason why I just can't switch away from Mac is because I've built myself on all these Apple apps that it is honestly just unethical for me to switch away and find a different platform because I already own them and I know how to use them and I know how to use them well. My third reason is kind of a controversial one, but it's truly the Apple devices themselves. Yes, they've had a great design. Um, at least they are starting to now. Um, for years, Apple was just seemed to have been abandoning the Mac, which is why I was stuck on an iMac from 2010 for so many years until I got my M1 Mac mini. But honestly, Apple took a big break, as it seems, from the Mac for from like 2016 to 2019, where they just making awful computers with a butterfly keyboard and all these other things that just made these computers awful. Um, and they finally came back to it with their M1. Now the M1 chips or the M series chips have honestly been a game changer for a lot of people, including myself, because it has helped me so much with video editing and design work. And it's honestly been a great bang for the buck. 
and it's why I chose to stick with Mac uh, when I upgraded from my 2010 iMac. Um, Apple's products may be pricey, but you really are getting quality from choosing an Apple product, most of the time at least. Um, with my Mac Mini, I bought this for $1,200, and I have literally had no problems with it. It, Unlike when I had my Windows PC that I had for three years, I was constantly having problems with it. Um, it was so easy to get like spyware and viruses on there. I've never had anything go wrong with my Mac uh, compared to what I had with Windows. Now I will say, I did use Ubuntu Budgie for about three months or so while I was waiting to and saving up for this Mac Mini, and it was okay. The only problem that I really did have with Linux is half the apps that I was used to using, I didn't gain access to. Um, at that point in time, I was just standardized on OpenOffice and LibreOffice, which were fine. In fact, I still use LibreOffice to this day for some tasks that Apple's iWorks we just cannot do, especially for database applications and like um, di uh, spreadsheets and stuff like that. Um, and I still use it. And I learned a lot of the skills for those applications using Linux. But honestly, Apple, is just, Apple and Mac OS has just been a great solution for me. And I honestly just cannot switch away. And that about wraps it up. Um, this was a really quick video because I feel bad for not coming out with any videos. I took a break over Memorial Weekend to spend time with family and work on other stuff. And school's out. So I'll be starting to make some more videos very soon. And I'm really excited to get back to my YouTube channel and start making some great content for you guys. If you guys like to see extra videos and support me, you can head over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Ethan's Journal. Uh, all of your support really helps. And I'm going to be starting doing Patreon live streams with Q&A sessions and playing some uh, startup, sim startup company simulator uh, and some other games if you guys want to see that. So be sure to head over to my Patreon and pledge for as little as $1 a month. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your day and goodbye.